Today I'm learning, we're going to do an effect that looks something like this. What's going on? What's up guys? I'm Bobby. And I am Brenton. <laughs> and you're watching! Ooh! I'm getting so sick of these. I know, it's like, uh, it's like, I, don't do want, do? I don't even want to try anymore. No, it's like, can we just... How many, can we just like be normal people, guys? We're sick of being clowns. <laughs> With Bobby and Brent. <laughs> Next episode, we're gonna be normal. All right. Yeah. That. I'm tired of being your clown. No, we should be. I'm holograms. a real. I'm a real person. We should be holograms. I'm a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we revert right back to the clowns. <sighs> True. All right. So today we're going to be doing an effect similar to our last week's effect, which mm. was the speed effect. Yes. Woo! Super speed. Where we have our buddy Nick here, mm -hmm. and his arm is going to be moving super fast. Super fast. If you ever watched the TV show The Flash, we there is a when the, he becomes the Flash. Yep. You know he looks at his arm and it's like starts vibrating really fast. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the effect that we're recreating here. Okay. So cool. It's I'm pretty excited. simple. Yeah. I want to so, see how this works. Let's get right into the video. Let's tutorial it, 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 oh. real quick. Ah! Pull it in. Okay. Whew. We're in nice. small now. Alrighty. So here we have our buddy Nick. Nick Lai. And we have this nice little video here, pretty simple, of him staring at his arm and he goes, what's going on? Really lightly with his voice. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drag the video into our layer here, which we've already done. And we're gonna zoom in on his arm. Okay, so we're going to take the layer and we're going to control D and that's going to create a duplicate here. Dupes it up. So we have a duplicate layer with Nick in the foreground and Nick in the background. Okay. And we're going to take the Nick in the foreground and we're going to mask out his arm. So we've done masks like this before. We've done a lot of different masking videos, you know, in our green screens. Masking is a very powerful tool to use in After Effects. And uh, it's pretty simple. You just grab the pen tool and you do a nice little trace of an object that you want to mask. I love the masking tool in After Effects. Me too. It's so much better than the one in Premiere. Yeah, yeah, I love how you can kind of create those angles like that, rather than having to just do node by node. Oh yeah, and you it's- You get those sweet curves. It's actually very similar to the uh, Adobe Illustrator mm -hmm. um, mask, which is really nice. So let's see how this mask uh, does of tracking Nick's arm. Okay. It looks like it skews off a little bit, so we're gonna do a really quick little mask tracking. Okay. It's very simple, you just click on this layer, hit our M key, select the mask, which we just created, okay. right click, and track mask. And yeah. then we're going to hit this track mask select forward, and what that's going to do is it's going to track the mask throughout the video. Oh yeah, you can sort of see it going right now. I mean, it's subtle, but it's moving right along with Nick. All right, Brent, so it tracked the mask. It's all it done. It tracked it all up. So let's, uh, let's as as check it out. There's Nick's oh! arm. Oh my God. Oh, no. And it's moving. His what arm is off. Yeah. So right now, I think that uh, the edges are a little bit hard. So we're actually going to feather the edges just a bit. Okay. And we're going to drop down our mask Pray tell, how are we gonna here. do that? We're gonna move our, our oh, uh, feather up just a little bit. I see it there. So let's actually, uh, remove our visibility of the background layer just so we can see what's going on. And we'll just do ever so slightly, maybe we'll do uh, two, we'll type in two, hit cool. enter. And it just creates a little bit less hard of a hard line. Okay, so here we have Nick's hand. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take his hand and you can see this little uh, anchor point right here, right? I sure can. We're gonna move that to his elbow where it looks like his arm is shaking. So, Throw it some bows. So, Throw some bows. Do you remember how to do that, Brent? Explain it to the audience, Bobby. I will show you. So I wanna know. We're going to go on our keyboard and select our Y key. That's the one. Yep, and if we select our Y key and drag the anchor point down to Nick's elbow right here, that means that now the elbow is going to be able to move around the anchor point. Cool. So let's actually go down to our properties here. We will go to our transform properties. Okay. Down to our rotation. And let's see if this works. Look at that. Okay, so one thing I noticed, Brent, is that the mask is a little bit off. I think oh, that... yeah, because we tracked it at the old way. Yes. We, we, we want it to be this new, because this is how we're going to want this mask to be going forward. And yeah. Like that. So if you look here, if we go frame by frame, you can see the first track, the first keyframe, the mask is fixed, and the second one 
and for the rest of them, it's actually still messed up. Oh, okay. So, so there's an easy way to fix that if we just go to our first frame again and uh, go back to our mask here, track it again. We can do the same thing and it'll actually just retrack. Yeah. A little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. We want to get it right. So let's... We want to show you how to fix your mistakes. Exactly. So we're going to let that track and we'll go right back to where we were. And we're back. We're back, my mate. <laughs> All right. So let's get back to where we were. So let's check out the rotation here. There we go. It's looking a lot better now. So we're actually going to zoom in to our keyframes. And you can see here that you can see each keyframe. You got one, two, three, four, five, and so on. The first thing we're going to decide is how quickly we want Nick's arm to rotate back and forth. Okay. So we're going to test out a few different things. I think we should start with two keyframes. Sure. And we'll see if that's too much. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the rotation about just slightly over, maybe to about four, plus four on the rotation scale. Okay. And we're going to select our little stopwatch here. Now, let's move two keyframes forward. And we will do negative four. So that we get the same amount of distance in the opposite direction. Okay. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. So Interesting. Let's copy and paste that. And so on. So that we can Every two frames. get a good loop going here. Now, what do you think? Brent, do you think see. that's a little bit too slow? Maybe. Maybe maybe we want to just go one frame. Maybe we want to go one frame. So the cool thing about After Effects is that you can actually select your keyframes, hold the Alt key, and stretch and shrink. Yeah, that's really convenient. So that you can see, you know. Boom, look at that. Make it everything's one frame. Oh, so look at that. That's actually much better. It's a lot faster, a lot yeah. quicker. And uh, let's, let's continue this uh, pattern here by copying the keyframes that we've already created and pasting it until we get to the end of the video. All right, so it's finished. It's looking good. Oh, Nick's very confused about his hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Chance freaking out. So Now, is there anything else we can do, Bobby, to make this look better? Well, Brent, it doesn't look very realistic. It doesn't. Not yet, at least. So I feel like we can do more. Something that the real world consists of what is What's motion. That? Motion. And in, with motion comes a motion blur. I think mean, the motion of the ocean. The motion of the ocean. <laughs> in real life, you see things flopping around. You see the motion blur. We're so that floppy. Your eyes capture. Yes. Because you can't see every little detail of things yeah. moving. There's a blur. Yes. So we're going to add our motion blur and see if this uh, helps our effect in any way. Okay. So let's go to our layer here, and we will select the motion blur uh, box right here. Okay. And we'll turn it on by clicking Enable Motion Blur. All right. So let's see how this looks. All right. It's looking pretty good. Hmm. All right, guys. So we have our blurry hand. It's looking really good. But something that's bothering me is Nick's hands in the background. Hmm. I don't like that. You can see it. It's ruining the effect. It's taking me out of it. Okay. So. Let's go to our original composition here, the original video. And let's find a spot in the video where Nick is out of the frame, okay? We're gonna set an in point, and we're gonna drag a little bit out here, and we'll set an out point. And we'll take the video, we'll drag it in. Okay, let's drag it to the top so we can see what's going on here. Alrighty, let's mute the layer that we created here with Nick's hand, okay? All right. And let's take the layer we just dropped in. Okay. And let's do another mask. And let's just see where we are here. Okay. Alrighty. So we can take this mask and we can adjust it so that we are covering Nick's arm, the original arm. The OG arm. The OG. And let's cover it to the point where it meets the background here. And then let's add a bit of a feather by hitting our M key and dropping down our mask properties and then feathering it just so it doesn't look totally off. Okay. And let's turn our motion hand back on. Okay, so now there's no hand in the background to distract you and you can just see that Nick's hand 
is moving really quickly across the screen. It's vibrating. Yeah. He doesn't even know what's going on. It's crazy. It's cray. So, Brent, I think that was pretty good. I, I think I'm, we did it. I'm liking the way that this is looking. Nice work. Now, you can obviously tweak it in your own ways and make it maybe go even faster. It's up to you. You can do whatever you like because we're, we live in a free world. and It's a free country. You do what you want. After Effects is not free, but the country is. Yep. So, unless you live in a country that's not free, then I guess. Unless you're watching internationally from yeah. somewhere. That isn't free, but hopefully you're free. Hopefully. We want all our audience to be free. We're pro-freedom. We hope you're free. I know it's a bold stance, but we're pro-freedom. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. Thanks, guys. I've been Bobby. I've been Brent. Make sure you subscribe. And you've been watching. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> It'll bring up just the rotation. Cool. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. It's clean. I cannot stop yawning this episode. This is bad. I've been like... Spend your whole time like this. Just like this. Alright, now you're making me want to yawn. Jesus. The yawn, the yawn, yawn, yawn. His hand is freaking out. It's freaking out, Brent. It's going crazy now. <laughs>